Well, okay, this is the um, interrupter kit that I decided to buy. And I'll tell you why I decided to buy this one is because of this right here. It does not interfere with vehicle electrical system. Even though it's part of the electrical system when I get done with it, I didn't have to uh, fool around with the ignition or wiring it into uh, the existing system other than to uh, put it on the battery terminals, which is just bolt on. So uh, that's why I picked this one. One of the reasons I picked this one. Uh, another reason is that you don't have to have identical batteries. Some systems require you have identical batteries. Uh, another reason is that this has a uh, an add-on device that allows you to hook the batteries together in case you need to jump start yourself. Uh, pretty interesting concept from inside the cabin of the vehicle. So that's why I picked this one. It got great reviews. And uh, another reason I got it from, uh, let me open it up here. Let's see here. I got it from this company called Equipped out of Prescott, Arizona. I think it's equipped.com, E Q U I P T.com. And the guy there, I think his name was Paul. The owner, you know, just answered all kinds of questions for me before I bought it. And then he didn't desert me after I bought it. I, after I got it, I started thinking some other questions uh, for my installation. He was very nice, always taking care of me, uh, either answering by email or by phone. Okay, so anyway, this is the entire kit. You don't have to buy the entire kit. Uh, the kit has the cables and all the other stuff with it, but... You can buy just the uh, the main device, which I'll get into here in a minute. But uh, I thought it'd be nice to have the kit, so I won't have to go chasing around with cables and all kinds of stuff. All right, so let's start out with some couple things here. This is the first thing I'm not going to use. <laughs> uh, this is a fuse that's supposed to go in line with uh, all this stuff. Here's another one, and here's another one. Well. They recommend that if you are going to put a winch on, which I'm putting a big fancy bumper on the front with a winch, that you leave out these fuses because uh, winches will take, you know, draw too much power and blow the fuses all the time. So those are not going to be used. So I can get, get rid of those. Um, this is the main guts of the system. Let's we'll try to get it out of here for you. This is called an interrupter. They call it an intelligent solenoid. And uh, basically, it hooks uh, the batteries together for you. And what it does is it controls what's going on with your battery. So your main battery is used to start your vehicle. And you never want to let that one go down to the point where you can't get your vehicle started. So what it does is that when it senses the voltage dropping, it cuts off the main battery and just takes all the power from the secondary battery. So you always have a battery to start your vehicle. And then uh, when you do start your vehicle, it charges the main battery for five minutes and then uh, charges both of the batteries. So it always is taking care of to make sure you can start your darn vehicle. So this is going to be mounted in the engine compartment and the batteries will be hooked to it as you'll see as we uh, we go all right so that's the intelligent solenoid they call it these are cables i'm also going to show you what tools you'll need but anyway there's plenty of uh, they give you plenty of cable here and uh and the ends that you need all the stuff is here so you don't have to go running around town looking for everything you know there you go all those and um, all the miscellaneous hardware, the ends for the cables, and so forth. Okay, so that's uh, most of the kit. Now, the other thing, part of the kit, is this is going to be uh, connected to the intelligent solenoid via this long wire. And this is going to run up into, the, into my dashboard or into my console between my seats. And it's going to give me a continuous uh, readout of what both batteries are doing, the state of uh, affairs for my batteries. And it also, it's what allows you to uh, hook the batteries together to jumpstart yourself. So this is uh, 
they call this the dual battery controller and it runs with this wire all the way to the solenoid so you have to run it through your firewall so that's what came in the kit uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun putting this in, but again, it's all bolt in and I just the hardest part will probably be screwing this to the firewall and finding a place to put it. But uh, I think we'll do fine with that. So anyway, that's that. Now I'm going to show you some of the tools you're going to need to have on hand to do this whole installation.